All right, here's more fun with the uh, Slayer Exciter. I worked a lot with it today and uh, tried a number of different things and uh, got the scope out and looked at the frequency at which it's running at. And also on my scope, I had a function that allowed me to look at the frequency in I believe it's a spectrum analysis type of thing which shows the different frequencies and the spikes. Um, and this is running at about 5 or 6 megahertz. That's where this runs at. And I changed the coil around a little bit today and found out if you stretch out that secondary to just the right length, uh, you get more power out of a smaller coil. And you can see I've got my little tunable inductor thing going on here still. Uh, with this little ferrite rod and that does make a difference. Let me show you how that that will cause this to go in and out of frequency and uh, you can see it on the scope uh, real clear when this gets the high spike at about uh, about 5 megahertz on this particular circuit is where I'm getting this and that's running at five and a half volts on one of these uh, one AA battery cell phone chargers you can run it on this thing here too. This is four double A's in series, but uh, that's real handy because of that red uh, red light right there. And that's a 20 watt fluorescent running right there. That's an 8 watt fluorescent. Uh, these are just some LEDs that are are running uh, wirelessly here. This thing here just lets me see the uh, the energy around here. You see how it goes out? And then come over here near the battery goes back in again and then I've got my famous water glass over here to show uh, this is over at the corner of the table and boom there's there's the energy right there and um, Bill the pirate uh, asked me if I could just hook this up to the water pipes or something and it, it doesn't work that way this water has to be isolated from ground but you can connect uh, different uh, puddles of water with one wire. I put a whole bunch of them around the living room here connected by one wire and it just travels uh, water glass to water glass, bucket to bucket by the one wire. Similar to one wire transmission. But uh, this is um, acting very, very similar to the uh, SEC 15 or SEC 18. It's just running at a lower frequency. Uh, instead of uh, 12, 13 uh, megahertz, it's running around 5 or 6. Now this was the other thing is I'm using a PNP instead of an NPN. Slayer was the one that first came up with this months ago. And instead of a 2 and 222 or MPS A06 NPN, it's a PNP. And all you got to do is change the polarity on your circuit and it'll run on one of these PNP 3906s and you can get them at Radio Shack. And it seems to run real well and this transistor it gets warm but it's okay it's handling it and that's putting out a lot of energy coming out of that thing and this is probably pumping out uh, quite a few uh, milliamps probably a couple hundred milliamps here um, based on the brightness of that red light so it is it is drawing quite a bit but this little guy here it's warm but uh, it's not exploding <laughs> it's not going up in smoke so anyway I did want to share that with people that uh, you can take uh, one of these Slayer exciter circuits and run it on one of these PNP transistors and uh, it, it does work. And you can get this uh, spatial energy cohesion going on and you can light up these big fluorescent tubes. And the coil configuration is real tricky. There are several different ways to do this. Slayer is doing it differently than I am doing it. But um, it, it all is on resonance and you have to get this to go into a resonance that produces a very high frequency in the megahertz range and if you don't do that this doesn't happen and then the spectrum analyzer it's a big tall spike looks like a freak wave here's a little waves running along here in the bottom and then all of a sudden there's just one big spike on the sec 18 I looked at that today there were several of these big tall spikes but on this there was just one at about five megahertz is where that spike was. Anyway, that's the latest for today. That's the uh, Slayer Exciter with the um, PNP transistor.